Today, I want to get into V talking about a rumor that might have upset him and him addressing it. I want to get into Jungkook doing Calvin Klein and the new alleged leaked pictures that came out. And then I want to get into Jungkook getting kisses. So, hey, Dom, this is Dave Desai, hater or not, make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell on. Go grab Vincent Blinds, he's Blink Muck Merch, and let's go. All the members of BTS love animals and specifically love cats and dogs. I think we all know that Taehyung has a few pets, Jungkook has a few pets, and Suga also. I don't know about the rest of the members, but those three are the ones that actively share their pets with us, and we have been following along for a while. Taehyung is super cute about showing his dog, Yontan, and giving us updates. Yontan is very famous within the fandom, and we are even kept up to date with Yontan's health. We know that he typically has trouble breathing and has gone through surgery a couple times. The bond between Yontan and Taehyung is so cute, and Tang has no problem giving kisses on the mouth and even receiving licks on the mouth from Yontan. This is a bit of a controversial issue because when Tang would post moments where Yontan kisses him on the mouth, the internet became divided over people who say that it's normal and they do it, and the other half saying it's a bit gross, since dogs lick the floor sometimes and things like that. I would typically fall on that side as well. I would prefer if pets don't lick my mouth. Now recently Jungkook has a bit more time and has been doing a lot of live streams for us. He recently came on and shared what he has been up to and basically said and told us that he has not been doing much, which was a lie. I will talk more about that later. But he also shared a bit of what his apartment looked like and then of course we got to see his amazingly cute Doberman Bam. We see Bam a lot in the reality show In The Soup, the second season with BTS members. They all went on to an island and Jungkook was allowed to bring Bam. There were a lot of scenes where we saw the relationship between Jungkook and Bam. We watched the entire season on Patreon and if you want to check that out with me, I will link that below. Bam makes Jungkook genuinely so happy and it's so cute to see. There is a $1 tier that is open, so I hope to see you there. In this live stream, Jungkook was playing around with Bam and we see a moment where Bam kisses Jungkook on the mouth. I think Jungkook is overall okay with kisses, but it did not seem like he wanted that one at that moment. And thus, when Bam kissed Jungkook, Jungkook acted as if it was the kiss of death and pretended to die. You could tell the reaction from Bam in that moment was confusion and he did not know what happened. Bam was checking to see if Jungkook had indeed died and tried to get Jungkook to move. Of course, Bam is such a smart dog and when Jungkook got up, he did not try to kiss Jungkook again. But the fandom also took this moment to be hilarious as they were asking how they could be Bam and how lucky Bam is to have kissed Jungkook. Honestly, I would settle for being even just the floor of his apartment because I bet you that floor has more luxurious life than I do. Just think about it. He lives in a luxury building, so his floor is perceived as luxury and expensive, and it's Jungkook, so it's automatically worth more. Just saying, being a floor doesn't sound too bad. I love that Jungkook is sharing a lot of these moments with us too. Too. In fact, sharing more of these moments really does help curve the rumors and theories that a lot of people have of a group. That sometimes doesn't make a lot of sense. K-pop in general is known for lip syncing, even though K-pop has not had a big history of this problem. Are there moments where this happens with some groups? Absolutely. And you know what happens after that? They often don't have a career anymore after doing that. Most artists will not risk their career over a lip sync. They would probably just rather sound bad. It always irks me when I read comments and news articles claiming those sorts of things because a lot of them don't realize how much work these K-pop artists put into their craft. When Asians do something, it has to be far beyond better and far beyond spectacular to be even seen as half as worthy as American artists or white appearing artists in the US. Has BTS and Blackpink not broken so many records and they're still seen as children's music or worse, not being able to sing live when that is not a problem in Korea. Korean idols don't face that problem because they go through years and years of training to be able to dance and sing live. When Blackpink did their performance at the VMAs for Pink Venom, the news site went crazy to say that they were lip syncing and it was just clearly not true. You could hear the girls moving through the mic. Their mics were clearly on. Rosé also tends to try to breathe really loudly to make sure people know that she is singing live. And I love that she does that. Now back to BTS, there was a moment a little while ago when BTS performed Butter during the Grammys. Tan made sure to leave a little space when his verse came on. I can't play the clip here due to copyright, but one of his lyrics to the song is talk the talk. And so typically he would sing it, but in order to show that he was not lip syncing, he made sure to leave it blank. 
Actually, the silence there was very loud. BTS has amazing breath control as a group and has some of the most difficult choreography in the industry. So they actually would sound literally perfect live and you wouldn't hear breathing or anything like that. Similar to how when you hear an American singer perform at the Super Bowl, they sound perfect because the singers go through intense training before that performance. But K-pop stars go through that training every day and for many years to the point where it's known the K-pop trainees practice and until they faint. And people know this fact, but they still think that the idols lip sync or can't sing. I literally do not understand. I could imagine the fact that Tan wanted to do that during the Butter performance was this idea that he felt hurt that people were saying all this about the group singing. The biggest insult you can give a singer is to say that they can't sing, but even if their voices are not to your liking, as in their voice might be raspy or just not pleasant to your ears, does not mean it's bad or that their singing is actually off key or that they have a bad technique. So please stop with those comments. I see them too much. One thing I feel a lot of people understand is that beauty is subjective. People tend to think they understand singing and judge singing unfairly, but people realize that if someone does not fit their standard of beauty, it does not mean the person is ugly, but just that that someone is not your type. So with that said, I was very excited to see that BTS was also getting into a bit of modeling. While of course I think the boys are gorgeous, haters will say what they will say about the boys, but the boys will definitely get a lot less hate for modeling. So what exciting modeling news do I have for you here today? Well, I think you know Jungkook has been confirmed to be working with Calvin Klein. This news was dropping in the morning and it's not just Calvin Klein Korea or anything like that. The campaign will be launched globally right off the bat. The brand dropped a video in which we saw Jungkook's eyes, waist, and a bit of that famous Calvin Klein underwear. There was also photos that came out of Jungkook with his jean jacket open so you could see his abs. This of course killed everyone as we've never seen Jungkook like this before. These were not posted on the original Calvin Klein site, but were posted somewhere on the internet. There were rumors as to where these photos came from, and many said that it came from stalkers who decided to leak it. That makes little sense to me because Calvin Klein is a big company, tack into their servers and leak some pics. I don't know about that. Also, these photos that are allegedly leaked are high resolution. They're not blurry or whatever. So that tells me that it could be an internal staff over there that potentially leaked it on purpose to drum up more hype. Brands do this all the time. Now, this is all a conspiracy theory. I don't know that as a fact, but stalkers hacking seem less likely or the photo could just be edited. Of course, all the reactions to this news were positive, but then people started to realize Jenny from Blackpink is also an ambassador for Calvin Klein and she has also posted nude in her underwear before. There's obviously been a lot of ships between Blackpink and BTS and people felt like this was just one step closer to Jungkook and Jenny actually posing together. And quite honestly, what would stop the brand from coming up with this idea? Nothing. Two of the biggest K-pop acts being in the same photo shoot seems like an obvious idea. However, people would be obviously furious if this happened and I'm sure the bulk of the hate would go to Jenny. The fact that another pretty woman was in the same frame as Joan Cook, also half naked and likely touching each other because otherwise they'd be on literal opposite ends of the photo. Now of course they'll be next to each other and they have to have chemistry so they'll touch and this would cause huge backlash. Many people think that this will happen and that Sasings are confirming that it will happen but it would be very unlikely given the landscape of K-pop right now. I think even if Calvin Klein had this idea, the label would fight against it saying it actually would not be good for the brand to do it. Because at first it would be Jenny getting hate or Jungkook getting hate and then both fandoms would come together to protest Calvin Klein for even letting this happen. What annoys me the most is when fandoms act irrationally over something very simple, actually not a real problem, and then they blame the company for not taking action or preventing the hate. I need some of these immature people to take accountability for their own actions. A company is not in charge of fixing or taking accountability for something the fandom does, and you can't blame the company for not knowing. If the company genuinely had no idea that Jenny and Jungkook coming together would be a big problem because they're not a part of the K-pop fandom and a lot of the people who work in the company probably have families and full-time jobs so they don't spend their time on Stan Twitter to even know the ships or the problem and you can't put that on the person in the company or the company. But I want to clarify all of this is still a rumor and Jenny and Jungkook collab on a photo has not been announced. Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out my Patreon for more videos. Link down below. Thanks for this lovely comment right here. Love you. Bye.